Hey guys. Hey guys. Y'all. I straightened my hair. I literally still can't believe it. Like I always felt like I could never straighten my own hair. I always felt like I would have to go to the Dominicans or something like that. I mean, I remember I went to the Dominicans one time and they just, they burned my hair. Like when I washed it, there was like just, it was just straight. Now I'm not saying that's not going to happen to me this time. Like I really, I don't know. I never got my hair this straight. So I might wash it and it might have no curl to it, but I think it will because like a little like this on the side was already trying to revert and um wasn't really feeling that so i just smacked it up with a little bit more heat um y'all i just wanted to come by and show you my hair and um i didn't get to film it okay i didn't get to film it because i didn't know if it was gonna turn out right like i thought it was just gonna be a big puff ball but no it's not here's the back <laughs> let me just take you through what I did so first I washed and conditioned my hair washed that all out and um then I put a little bit of a little bit of kinky curly knot today kinky curly knot today and when I say a little bit I really mean a tiny bit because I have this thing like I don't like to use a whole lot of product in my hair especially when I'm like flat ironing it and this was even when I had a relaxer because I feel like when, with my hair when I put a lot of products in it like heat protectant and grease and oil and spray and all that stuff it just makes it stiff and it just makes it look like crap dog crap dog so I was just like I'll just take my chances. I'll just take my chances. I mean, my hair's already blonde. It's already damaged. So, whatever. So, I did that. And then, um, I flat twisted my hair all the way back. Kind of like how I showed you in my, um, last video about my hair. But I did 12 of them all the way back. And then in the back, I just did a few. You know, I couldn't really connect it to go straight back because the back is so short. So, I just did a few separate flat twists back there. But just to stretch it out, that's what I did. And then when I was done that, my hair was kind of, I did that on um, freshly washed hair. Like it was just out of the shower so my hair was wet. But after I flat twisted it, it got a little bit dry so I sprayed it with my um, water and aloe vera juice mixture. And then I put coconut oil in my part. And then I um, put it on my hands a little bit and just like patted it on my hair. Not too much though, not too much. And so after that, after that, I put a like turban thing on. Let me go get it. Hold on. So here's my aloe vera juice and water sprayer, but I've showed you this before. That's this. Um, but here's the turban that I had on. I had some fabric laying around. So you can see. Yeah. So I just, after I did that, after I flat twisted it, I just put this little turban on and was like, just like rocking that for almost 24 hours, y'all. I wanted it to be as little work as possible when I was blow drying it. So I wanted it to be stretched out and I wanted it to be moisturized. I wanted that moisture to soak in and this fabric doesn't like soak it up. So that was good. So I took that out that night. So not literally 24 hours, but probably like 14 hours I had those um <laughs> twisting I took that out and I um blow dried my hair with this brush and a blow dryer went throughout every part under the part did that under the part did that so after that I flat ironed and I use this flat iron here I use this flat iron and the name has rubbed off <laughs> that is perfect but I'm pretty sure the name of it was like red. It, it had the word red in it. But anyway, this is like the half inch one. And it goes up 
from from 250 all the way to 460 I know I'm not supposed to do that y'all but I have 4C here and I did it I went all the way to 460 and I laid this thing I laid it down in the roots and everything that's why I don't know what it's gonna look like when I wash it so yes when I flat ironed it I combed it out with this first and then I flat ironed it and then some pieces were stubborn of course so I did like the chase method I did it like that so that was that and then when I was done I took some coconut oil rubbed it in my hands and just rubbed it through my hair and then I just slicked it like this with my fingers or you can use a comb big comb white tooth comb and just like like this like in the old days when you used to wrap your hair but it's not like a full length wrap I just put it how I knew I wanted to wear it and slapped a scarf on it just like that and then so when I wake up it looks like this and then I just kind of come it out a little bit but I pretty much been leaving it like this and then let that be that I don't want to do too much to it I don't want to really manipulate it too much further because I just feel like it's gonna revert <laughs> like whatever I do it's just gonna revert so that was just really quickly how I did it um, if I flat iron my hair again I'm going to take you guys through it completely and I'll take you in the bathroom while I'm flat ironing it and all that good stuff but you can see it has movement it has movement to it love you guys follow me on snapchat jmayoxo and instagram underscore j.mayo mm -hmm. love you guys